everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Tour de Cons, your podcast all about conventions all over this great land. And I am one of your hosts, Jesse Jackson. And today we are driving down a country road where we're hearing the wolves howl and the bats fly. And we're hoping that we don't run into car troubles because this looks scary. That's right, we're talking horror tonight. And I have um, Latrice joining me. How are you doing, Latrice? I am very well. Hello, everybody. You know, uh, I've been, you know, people are so kind. Um, I'm, as you listeners know, I've been doing a series of fan episodes with Texas Frightmare Weekend. Uh, Texas Frightmare yes. Weekend is one of the big horror conventions. It's happening here in Dallas, Fort Worth, May 4th, 5th, and 6th at the Hyatt Regency at the DFW oh, Airport. I can't wait. I know. I can't wait. I, and, and I, I want to – I'm excited to hear about this because uh, you're a rookie, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Yes, so, I am. Yeah, so we're going to talk a little bit about that, but let's start out with – tell us a little about yourself, Latrice. Hmm. Well – um, my name is Latrice Carter. I, um, I've actually been in Texas myself. I live in Texas. I live in Plano, Texas, actually. And, uh, I've been here with my family for five years now. I'm originally from Detroit. Actually, it's been six years now. Uh, I'm originally from Detroit. I've actually loved horror movies all my life. Um, uh, but I'm, I'm weird, uh, Jesse, because I love the classic horror movies. I love the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Some 2000s, but not really. I, I just love all the classics. Okay. They're they're by far the better <laughs> scary movies. You yeah. Know, so I, I'm a big fan of the old Universals. You know, the 30s or 40s. Mm, yeah. Know, the, with uh, Boris Karloff and. Oh yeah, Lon Chaney, mm-hmm. um, you know, and then I, I will tell you as a kid, you know, I loved Abbott and Costello, and and their oh movies yes. were just so much fun for me as a kid. I just I adored, um, you know, that that combination of humor and scariness. It yes, was great. Yeah, and that's what that's what I think is needed in today's horror movie you know i just got done watching the lost boys and um it it was i don't know it's just such an innocent time you know i I don't know how to explain it (laughs) no i i think that's a fair point um you know the lost boys is a classic and uh to see that is um you know, and, and it holds up and, you know, with, uh, yes. you know, the Corey's and, and, and you know, Keith or Sullivan, Sutherland, and it, it just is yes. really uh, f- wonderful. Um, do, so talk to me a little bit, how, how did you discover, how did you find, what was your pathway, you know, what made you want this? Why well, did you, know, you become this? Uh, why did I become a horror fan? Yes. I have no, you know, I've been watching horror movies from since I can remember. And, well, actually, I do know why. Yes. <laughs> it's a funny story, and everybody is going to, everybody is going to crack up laughing when they hear this. Because my mom says it's her fault, because when she was pregnant with me, she went to go see Halloween. Okay. And and when she went to go see Halloween, uh, her and my uh, my guide mother, which is her best friend and her sister, they all went to go uh, see it. But when I got in the movie theater, they were so scared. They were like dunking down and everything like that. <laughs> and she, I forget how many months pregnant she was with me, but she said that and when you came out the womb. It seemed like you love scary movies. Oh, how funny! <laughs> so, so she bl- so she blames herself. <laughs> yeah. 
That is yep, so that is great. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah. So I always tell that story, especially during Halloween time. I tell that story. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like is is my mom's fault that I'm that I love scary movies. So <laughs> yeah, you know, you talked a little bit about um, the classic. Um, you know, you a little bit more into 60s or 70s. Um, is there a favorite, you know, genre or you know, like vampires or or zombies or creature features? Is there something? Well, I tend to go towards the the slashers. Okay. I, t- I tend to go. Toward, yeah, I t- I tend to love the the slasher uh, genre. I love Nightmare on Elm Street. I love Halloween. I love Friday the Thirteenth. Um, I even love the the sleep the sleepover the deadly sleepovers. Yeah. The yeah I I love them. Um. <clears throat> Also, I love um, trying to think of some more. Oh, the sleepaway camp! I love sleepaway camp. Yes, you love that whole. Yeah. Yep. I, I just uh, there's something about the slasher, uh, you know, the slasher journalist that, that I love. Uh, my least favorite is um, has got to be the ones that deal with the demonic. You know, um, I, I'm not so much into those. But um okay. But yeah, I yeah, I love the the slashers. Okay. Love them. Very uh, nice. Oh, and child play. I love child play. I can't wait to meet Alex Vincent and Brad Dourif and Brianna Dourif and um uh Christina Lee. Uh just all of them. I can't wait to meet the cast of Child's Play. Yeah, can't wait. that's going to be great. So you you talked a little bit um is there um, – what made you decide to uh, head to a convention for the first time? Well, you know, I've always – ever since I heard about uh, Texas from your weekend, I've always wanted to go, but I would never have anybody to go with me because my fiancé, she um, actually works for Netflix once upon a time. Okay. And – he worked the weekends, so I wasn't able to go with him. And nobody else that I know loves horror movies the way that I do. <laughs> so, and if they did, they were they would be busy around that time. And another tidbit is around my birthday. My birthday is May first, so I wanted to to be especially this year. You know, I'm turning thirty eight this year. Okay. And so I wanted to. I wanted to do something for my 38th birthday. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so you decided this would be a perfect way to celebrate. Yes. The perfect way to celebrate. My way to celebrate, I have to say. <laughs> and uh, and I, I forget how I actually came across that. I think I came across it because I actually wanted to know, you know, if they did do anything for – um, horror, horror movies, you know, if they had like maybe horror nights at the movie theater or something like that. Cause I, cause like I said, we moved to Texas like six years ago. And then when I found out that they did it every May, I was like, Oh my gosh, I just missed it because we actually moved here to Texas, um, May the 27th. Okay. So we had just missed it. I had just missed it. Oh. And I was like, well, next year I'm going to go. And next year came and went. So I was like, the next year I'm going to go. Next year came and went. <laughs> next year I'm going to go. Next year came and went. So fast forward to 2017, I told my fiance, I said, we are going. Because uh, <sighs> I think this was back in December. And I said, babe, we're going. We're going. I don't care. We are going. And I got the tickets. <laughs> nice. Well, that is awesome. And yeah. I'm so happy uh, that, um, you know, you you, you want to join and talk about it. That That's really great. Um, so um, is there – you've already talked a little bit about Chucky. 
but is there other people you're looking forward to meeting or talking about in the show? Uh, some guests? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I actually really want to meet Chosen Jacobs, who, who plays um, Mikey on um, – or Michael Hanlon, I'm sorry, um, on, on in the It movie. Okay. I really want to uh, meet him. Um, I do want to meet um, uh, Shawnee, Shawnee Smith, I think that's her name. Yes. Uh, she she um, played on The Blob. Yes, yes, I do uh, want to uh, meet her. Um, let's see, who else is on my list? Oh, 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 how can I forget Kane Hodder? Yeah. Kane Hodder is my most favorite Jason Voorhees. It's like he 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 became the character, you know. He just put on that mask and he became Jason. And and I mean, no knock on all the others who have played Jason; they were good too. But there's just something about Kane Hodder, you know. He it, it, Jason. He just became Jason. Yeah, uh, in my opinion. I, yeah, I could see that. Um, the um. You know, uh, one of the exciting things is not only getting a chance to meet these people, but also, you know, kind of to meet other fans and to show you're oh, not yeah. alone. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And, you know, I, I always tell people um, when they meet me, um, well, you know, of course, they get to know me and I get to know them a little bit, you know, and then they see that I love horror movies. And I'm like, yeah, but, and then they go, but you, you, you're you also a Christian, you know, and I say, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know, I, I love Jesus, but I love scary movies, you know, yeah, and, and, and it, it baffles some people's minds, but I'm like this, you know, I mean, <laughs> everything is, I mean, good and good versus evil has been around a long, long time. <laughs> so, yes, it has. You know. And, and in so of, it, you know, yeah, in a lot of ways, I'm sorry. No, 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 you're perfect. Um, you know, in a lot of ways, um, you know, horror movies are the ultimate good versus evil. And, um, yes. and so, and most times, um, good wins, not always, but yes. sometimes, not but always. Most of the time, yes. yes. And yes. so, yeah, I could totally see that. Um, and, you know, the other thing people have to remember, right, is, you know, this is fiction. So it's right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So yes. it's okay. <laughs> um, right. Right. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned a little bit telling that story around Halloween. Um, I take it you're a big fan of the Halloween and celebrating? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I love Halloween. I love I, I love the um, you know, leading up to the day, I love that. I don't, I don't consider it a holiday like some people do, but I do like to look. I, I, that's my favorite month to watch all the scary movies that sure. I can watch. Okay. <laughs> so I, I, you know, I do that. You know, that's my time to set a, uh, I set aside time to uh, watch scary movies the whole month of October. Okay. And. And then I love, you know, I, I do love the movie Halloween, too. You yes. know, um, of course, you know, my, my mom, you know, <laughs> but, yeah. but um, I, I do love the the Halloween movies. And, you know, uh, what I'm I'm hoping next year that Jamie Lee Curtis will be at the uh, TFW, especially with the new Halloween movie coming out this year. Yes. You do know about that, right? Yeah, I do, and that would be awesome. Yeah, I, yes. As a matter of fact, um, I, I actually um, joined the uh, – I mean, not joined the podcast, but I'm now listening to a podcast um, called Halloweenies, and they are good. I mean, they go in-depth uh, with the Halloween movies. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, yeah, uh, that sounds fun. I'll have to check that out. Um, yes. So uh, you you uh, you mentioned you live in Plano. That's where I work. I live in Louisville. Um, so are you planning to go all three days? 
You know, no, I am not. I am ask. I can only get tickets for one day. I didn't okay. have the money to get yeah, to sure. buy. Um, you know, um, you know, I, I am. Uh, I was upset at that, but, but you know, I I just had a son last year, so of course, me and my uh, fiance were, you know, are a little bit tapped out <laughs> because sure. because of our son, but um. But I was able to get a Saturday pass, really? um, two of them actually, mm-hmm. uh, uh, because um, you know, I, that was a birthday gift to myself. You know, yes. I'm sure my my fiance is going to give me something, but I wanted to get something for myself. So I think that's and that perfect. Was it. So uh, yes, well, that is that is awesome. I I, I know you're going to have a blast. Uh, this will be a lot of uh. fun. Um, is there... Yeah, I'm already having fun. I'm already – the day hasn't even came yet, and I'm already having fun. I love going on the group page so much. Uh, you know, they're were, they were just also welcoming on the group page. Um, I, I can't wait to meet – I can't wait to meet you well, thank on you. that Saturday. I I'm am... going to give you a big hug. Well, that is <laughs> always appreciated. Yeah, I do think it is uh, – there's been a great group, the uh, Texas Fright Mirror – Weekend fans Facebook group has been very sweet. A lot of exciting, uh, you know, discussions. People getting pumped. Yes. About it, uh, you know, there are so many great guests that are coming on. Uh, you know, and and also just kind of meetups together. So that'll be uh, a blast. Uh, once again, yes. Texas Frightmare Weekend is happening May fourth, fifth, and sixth. Uh, here at the Hyatt Regency DFW Airport. Uh, tickets are available at the Texas Frightmare Weekend.com. Um, and, uh, you know, we're, uh, it's just going to be a blast. They have tons yes, of guests, um, a great dealer's room. Um, so, you know, bring more, mo- bring money. Um, you know, don't bring money you don't want to spend because trust me, there will be something there that you go, oh my goodness. <laughs> so I got to have Yes, that. everybody has been telling me that. Yeah. Everybody has been telling me that. Yeah. So um, any last thoughts um, before I let you go? Oh, um, n- no. I'm, I'm just, I can't wait to go. I can't wait to meet everybody and the celebs and the other people. Uh, the regular people, you know, included. Yeah. I can't wait to meet everybody. Yes. Um, I, I, I'm just looking forward to everything. I'm well, looking forward to everything, even the karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> even the karaoke. You know, and Latrice, uh, it'll be a lot of fun. A lot of great cosplayers. So you know, people dress. Oh yes, up, and so that's another. Take, that's another yeah. thing I can't wait for. I can't wait to um, take pictures with people who are who are going to be, you know. Uh, dressing up and everything i plan on taking lots of pictures good very I plan nice i'm taking lots of pictures well good uh so um i just want to remind people that i we want to hear your thoughts uh you can reach uh, me at jesse jackson dfw on twitter um at tour the De- tour decons on twitter for the show um and uh please go to itunes to check out other episodes of the podcast and give us a review. Um, and uh, we look forward to seeing you. Uh, come back, come up and tell me at the podcast. Say, hey, Jesse, yes. I listened. Um, you know, and thanks. Uh, I'm trying to find a place where we can do a live recording there during the show on Saturday, kind of get a room and kind of talk to some people. So I will be looking for you. Uh, Miss Latrice. Yes, I will be looking for you. Very nice. <laughs> I will be looking for you. Well, thank you so much for taking time uh, from your schedule to talk to me tonight. Uh, I just want to remind everyone, uh, check it out, have a good time, and remember, good luck is just bad luck with its hair combed. Have a good night, and we'll talk to you <laughs> soon. Good night. <laughs>